Hello everybody, this is Minecralix here, and today I will show you how you can send text messages from your own PC without having to pay for a phone contract or anything like that. Now, you first have to go to um, the browser of your choice. Now, go to Google or the search engine of your choice and type in bluestacks.com. Um, the link will be in the description just so it will be easier to get to the website. Now what this is, is this is basically an Android emulator for your PC. It is a free Android emulator. And so what you do is you're going to download Bluestacks right now. Now it's going to download the Bluestacks uh, native.exe. And then as soon as it is done, I will run it. Now this will take two more minutes to download. So I'll just come back as soon as it is done. Okay, now that the Bluestacks application has finished downloading, go back to your browser and then run the .exe Bluestacks native. So it's going to ask you, um, okay, so now Norton is saying that this program is safe. It does not have any viruses as far as I'm concerned, so you can download at, um, this doesn't have any viruses, so don't worry that it's going to infect your computer or anything. So right now it's basically extracting the program from the .exe real quick. Um, it's up to 70 or so percent. Now we're going to wait until it completes up to 100 percent. Okay, now it's going to ask you for administra administrator permission. Press yes to run it. And like I said before, this does not have any viruses and Norton has scanned it. Uh, Norton Antivirus by Symantec scanned it and says it's safe, so don't worry. Uh, now you have to accept their license agreement and everything. Next, um, select the Bluestacks data location. This is where uh, it's going to install the emulator. This is where all of your games and uh, apps on the emulator will be stored. Uh, you could also browse right here and if you want to change the folder in which you want to install this. Now this does require a minimum of one gigabyte, so make sure you have that much space available. So you press next. Now it says that Bluestacks run best with the following enabled the app store access. Now don't change anything here and then just press install. Now it is installing Bluestacks and as soon as it is done, I'm going to come back and... Uh, show you what to do from there. Okay, now the installation has finally completed. Make sure this start Bluestacks thingy is um, checkmarked so that it starts Bluestacks as soon as you press finish. So I'm gonna press finish and right now it should start Bluestacks. I think it's gonna ask for administrator permission again, but I'm not sure it might not. Uh, so we can see it's loading, and then there we go, Bluestacks TV, it's loading. It's saying what new features it has. Um, just press got it. One moment, please. Uh, please wait. So if you have not realized this yet, we're basically going to download a free texting app on, off the Android emulator so that you can um, receive and send text messages to any phone number. You can also have a phone number, like you can pick a different phone number that you want to have, and every time somebody calls your phone number or something, or anytime someone texts this phone number, it's going to go inside the inbox of the app that I will install on the Android emulator shortly. Now it is, now it does look like it's kind of Looks like it's taking a bit of a while. Okay, now you're just uh, prove location accuracy. Uh, I'm just gonna write disagree. I don't really want blue stacks to have my location. So now just basically switch your language. It has a lot of different languages, uh, different uh, English dialects, Indian, Singaporean, um, United States. Uh, then press next. Just use your mouse to scroll through all of these. Now it says you can use your existing Google account to sign in below or you can create another Google account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another Google account. Uh, I don't want you guys to see what my password is, so I'm going to just skip this part and create an account off camera.
Okay, now that I have signed into my Google account, you can also create another Google account through this. I created a new Google account and I signed into Google into my Google account in this Android emulator. Now it did ask me for some extra information such as payment info. It wanted to get my credit card details, but uh, I strongly recommend that you do not enter any credit card information into Bluestacks because such information could easily be hijacked. Now, now that I got that out of the way, you will now see this desktop, and this is basically the main home page of the Bluestacks Android emulator. And what you're going to do is you're going to go up here and then press search, and basically you can search for apps, and right here you can download games or practically any apps that are available for Android. Now, now what we need is an app called text now and you can use a bunch of different apps there are several apps that allow you to text and call uh, free through the internet uh, this app I have found to be the best you could use other apps but most of them are free and as you can see it has 10 million downloads it is completely virus free so you should not worry that it's going to mess up your computer I have tested this and nothing is wrong so you just press install right here um, and then you have to accept that it has it's going to have access to in-app purchases device app history identity so identity just means that it knows what my uh, Google account is all my contacts my location and now since I already disabled my location you don't have to worry about that because it's not going to receive your location if you don't allow blue stacks to have your location uh, now this phone part this is not applicable because we're not using this on a phone it has access to your photos media files so basically you can send um, photos through text it has access to your microphone so you can make calls on this through your PC uh, and of course Wi-Fi Bluetooth and device ID and confirmation so now you have to accept to that and then right now it's going to download a 21.32 megabyte app it's going to take a few seconds to about 10 minutes depending on how fast your internet speed is uh, now we can see that it's installing it and it was actually fairly fast that it installed it uh, now what you do is you press open and it's basically going to open this interface right here now it's going to um, please wait uh, so now what you have to do is you have to create an account um, enter any email here but right here I'm going to enter my email that I used for the Google account that I'm signed into on the Android emulator Bluestacks uh, the username will basically create a type of um, email address uh, you could basically place any username here uh, if it's unless it's already taken and it's going to add the at text now dot me uh, and then you just enter a password. Now you could also connect with Facebook, but I do not recommend doing that, especially if you want to stay anonymous. Um, now you could also log in if you already have an account. Uh, so right now I'm just going to create an account and log in. Uh, I don't want you guys to see my password, so I'll just cut filming here and then I'll be right back when I fill all of this in. Okay guys, welcome back. I have now logged into my account. At first I was going to create a new account, but then I remembered that I already have an existing account. And this is how it's going to look like. This is the texting interface right here, text now. And right here if you press this button right here, you can enter or select contacts to um, type a message and text them. So what else you can do is you can, right here, you can go to this interface right here. If you press the number key up here, then you can actually type in a person's phone number. So let me just type in a complete random number here. And so what you do is you can either press this button to call this person. Um, or you can press this side panel right here and then you can choose to add to contacts. And then what that's going to do is that's going to add that person to your contacts and then you can text them through right here enter or select contacts another thing which you can do is you can go to call history right here uh, you can look at your missed calls if somebody called you on this phone number that you have uh, what it will also do it, it will actually ask you for your uh, area code and you can basically enter any area code you want uh, and then after that it will generate a phone number for you and up here if you probably noticed I blacked out my phone number and my email just to make sure that nobody um, none of my viewers message me on this um, 
on this app uh, and right here we can see that it's asking me to check my email to complete my account uh, so it basically sends you an email a confirmation email to make sure that it's actually you that controls this email so you have to check your email and then uh, confirm it to complete your account and in addition to that you could go to store and you could buy international credit which means you can text people internationally uh, I do not recommend doing that if you want to you can call and text people from the United States and Canada free as long as you are in the United States I don't know if you are in other countries maybe if you are using this app from a different country then you can call and text everybody in that given country for free I don't really know how that works uh, so right here on search you can search for all of your contacts or messages uh, there's just phones, settings, and then right here you can basically change the notification settings that's going to notify you. And if BlueStacks is closed, then it will actually notify you on Windows 10 by giving you a message right here that comes up somewhere right here. It comes up and it says that somebody messaged you on uh, text now. And um, yeah. Thank you for watching. This is Minecralix. Uh, right here, you can type a message. Right here, you can send. You can send a gallery. You can even use emojis. Uh, uh, you can call a person by um, pressing the call button right here. Uh, but of course, you do have to set up your microphone and um, speakers or headphones with blue stacks, uh, and that is. Um, a topic for another tutorial so thank you very much for watching this is completely unlimited you do not have to pay for this uh, this contains no viruses at all so thank you for watching this is Minecraft I hope I helped you um, thank you for watching and uh, see you all in the next video